Well, hello everybody. It is a Sunday. We are in Bay City, Michigan, here at the USS Edison, which is now a ship museum. 15 dollar tour for adults and i checked and they said they uh, are okay with filming on the tour let them know that i was a non-commercial filmmaker I should probably switch over from 720p filming just in case it's a little dark inside. Better make that decision now, huh? I don't know. I think we will. We'll just deal with it. We're going to film in 720 60. It's be a little harder to do in the as it gets dark if it's inside the ship, especially if it's uh, fluorescent lighting. something a little different for the channel. I normally do walks, but I happen to be over this way and it seemed interesting enough. Plus I do like engineering marvels. Which frankly, I would call this enormous piece of metal quite the engineering marvel. So let's go in and we will pay our entry fee and double check that we're all right to film with this enormous, very obvious setup. <laughs> My thought is, uh, it might be kind of quiet through this one. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There's going to be a lot of people here today. It is going to be kind of on the busy side. So I think we'll just be patient. Go slow. They said about an hour and a half to an hour. It's fine by me. I have plenty of time. Try not to walk into the uh, camera. This has got a little bounce to it. And I'm gonna say this is definitely not gonna be a handicap accessible kind of thing. Pretty obvious, it's a uh, warship. <laughs> it's gonna be tight passages. I'm just getting on board this. Uh... I'm gonna have to take stills today too, guys. So, might cut you in and out. My apologies. It's just a necessity with this camera. If I wanna take stills, I have to stop filming. So I believe we're at the rear of the ship here. depth of field as well. It's actually pretty lucky this nice weather today. Not Super hot with the breeze. Yeah, I could go with a little less humidity too. I'm sure the unsealed camera lens would prefer that too when I go back to air conditioning after. <laughs> Luckily I got plenty of stuff to dry her out with after.
check our focus and get prepared for a little tighter quarters. We'll head into the ship here. All right, so 1600 F22, and we're just gonna go with an auto ISO. Make it a little easier inside here. Decontamination station. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we'll begin the tour route. So I will do a little narrating. This is the number 52 gun mount carrier room. Alright, so we had to flip around. I was getting banding from the fluorescent lights in here, so we are just going to have to move around a lot on uh, what film speed we're shooting at. And uh, just watch your angles, because there's a lot of stuff to historic stuff to bump the camera into. Something you're not going to catch is that uh, it does smell like a machine shop in here. Very grease kind of smell. sideways to walk through here. I'm going to spin you around real quick. Oh, there's a loading mechanism. with the gimbal. Okay. Alright, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yes, this is going to have to be cut a lot. So this is not going to be unedited like most of our stuff either. I am going to have to bounce back and forth between focuses, unless you guys want a really nearsighted experience. But we'll see what we can do to make this a nice uncut experience. Looks like the tour route goes down. Which actually, you know, let's uh, walk the tour route. That way my guidebook will actually serve a purpose later when I edit. 
try to keep you guys as steady as I can. I am filming you guys through a 2880 lens, so it's kind of tight. Just don't want to spend money on a wide angle. We will walk absolutely as much of this as I possibly can. And so as they are kind enough to allow me to film here, I would recommend you come and check this uh, out if you're in the area. Frankly, there is just so much to look at. It, um... The lube oil storage tanks here. On what would be the port side of the ship. strongly like lube oil in here. I can't say that this film is going to be any kind of a placement for actually touring this. There's just too much to look at through the narrow little viewfinder of a camera. So for 15 bucks, I highly suggest you just come take a tour yourself. <laughs> Continue on the tour route. I apologize if it's a little jostling or anything. Pretty tight quarters in here. I gotta watch my footing on this flooring. side is completely insane. That's scuba tank pressures.
These are the samples of uh, lube oil. Cooling fluid, I believe. Possibly fuel. Every floor, ceiling, and wall is absolutely covered in things to look at here, so we will do the best we can. I am not yet seeing the next tour sign, so... Boiler water side glass. I'm guessing there's two boilers here. There seems to be a similar one on the other side. Look at these narrow little passageways here. Oh, shit. I might have lost the uh, the tour signs. Just press on. This appears to be all fire suppression stuff over here. It might not be roped off, but it's awful tight in there. I'm not going to bother. Too much stuff to walk into. Don't want to be that guy. Imagine these boilers running, it'd be very pleasant in here. This is like in a cold jungle gym. 
sorts of cool, interesting things all around. Yeah, is this how a rat feels? <laughs> In a maze? <laughs> or inside a wall? <laughs> Pipes and things you can't identify everywhere. I don't know, I think this is much more entertainment than being a rat screen. It, no joke. Phosphorus. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can't find where this tour resumes. That's cool. Okay guys, I think I'm getting the pattern here. Focus, start, refocus, start. Take a picture, focus again. <laughs> well, frankly, I'm just gonna shut up so you guys can enjoy the view. I have very little to say that uh, probably isn't already running through most of your heads. Pretty cool in here. Well, and this is back where we started, so I think we definitely lost we lost the thread. Alright, let's go back the way we just came, try to figure out where we got lost. <laughs> Doesn't break down. I didn't even notice the uh, speaking tube. Somebody else just pointed that out to me. It's kind of cool. So we've been through this way, this main reduction here. We just got to figure out where we lost the tour sign. I don't think there's any going down a level further. So let's go back out the way we came. Ooh, I think. That's not the way we came. Done this way yet. Perfect. Be more of the sleeping bunks back here. A little darker.
it's notable that it's very hot outside. It's fairly hot in here as well. Not too bad. And actually, for Google saying it was super busy here, it's not too terrible. The number 53 gun mount carrier room. And I believe we're at the stern of this ship. I believe this is the hatch. I shoved the camera down earlier. Let's check out this number 53 gun mount carrier room. Yeah, this isn't the one. No, this is not the one I've already been in. Very similar though. Pretty tiny looking sleeping bunks. You wake up in them all night and smack your head. Now there's a note here. Poor sailor needed a CPAP machine. That's uh Curious. That's a pretty standard locker size. Not too bad. Okay, we've been through this way. I think we're circling around again. Let's see. Let's make sure. Yep, 
Okay. All right, well, let's head up one more deck. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's quite okay. Have you been here before? I have not. This is my first time. Yeah, it's a maze. Yes, That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was say once. I feel like I once I walked through it a couple times. See, once I walk through it a couple times, I find somewhere that I missed. Like you start to think you know where you're at, and then. What is going on here? Uh, I know up by the entrance there was like an emergency shower thing, but I haven't seen proper like washrooms. Probably wouldn't see much. Right. That's assuming there's anything left of the washrooms, and they weren't just in such bad shape, they figured, tear them out and put in a display case. Wow. There's just more and more balls. See? This is their rooms, their locker room. This is a peacoat locker here. This is everything that we were looking at through the windows that we couldn't come down. Remember? This, yeah. The tables. Why is there a deeper in somewhere? Hi. Because this is where they... Well, the like, uh, I think we've seen a lot of bunks already, but we paid for the ticket. We might as well take all the rides. These are kind of cozy in here with the lockers. And, yeah, it's not so bad. What? Oh, the lockers are still full of uniforms. Oh, and there's storage under these. That's clever. I would have never have uh, realized that. All right. I think we got to head up another level. It's not very comfortable, but I Ashton. We're going to the mechanical room, Dee. Step out onto the deck for a second. Yeah, the breeze outside actually makes it feel considerably cooler. I think it may be actually hotter in there. And that's without the boilers running. Okay. down this hallway here. Wooden uh, non live training round. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this boat was launched the 4th of January 1958. Built by Bath Ironworks Corporation in Bath, Maine.
Ooh, I gotta slow down or I'm gonna... Oh, there's another tour outside. infirmary. That is very small. Oof, one at a time, huh? Boy, I hope this one uh, turns out. Well, looks like we have a uh, scullery. There's a light switch. I believe we are making our way slowly to the uh, bow. There's the uh, outgoing mailbox on board. And we must be in the mess here. Barber shop over here in the corner. It's funny, they've had to do repairs, replacing some of the latches with regular door hardware. Provisions room, probably using that for storage, even today. There's the uh, barber shop. Apparently not reopening anytime soon. And the Edison post office. Okay. Ooh, tiny room. Wow, you can feel the heat coming off these fluorescent lights in here, even. Take a peek in the barber shop. Through the window. back out into the mess hall here. Now we can uh, slow down just a little bit. We got some natural light in here. And of course, per naval regulations that I just made up, you've got to have a deep fryer cut off. And lights. We need to ref Oh, for the first time ever, my camera is warning me that it is uh, running warm. This is an icon I've never seen before. Oh, 
It doesn't look like they have coffee. I doubt anyone wants a cup of hot coffee on a day like today. There's the crew galley. Looks like a motor valve cover. Alright. Mess deck exit. As we continue heading to the front. Oh, it's a lot cooler up here. The uh, breeze must be getting in here. This looks like a fire suppression room. Repair locker. Ship store. And there's some old candy. Fire reel. I know I'm probably I'm missing a lot and I'm out of focus. But uh, considering the amount of editing I'm going to have ahead of me. Like I said, my biggest, uh, so this is the executive office. My suggestion would be to come tour this ship yourself. Stanley Vidmar cabinets. The warehouse I used to work in had those same cabinets. The exact same cabinets, except ours did not lock. Probably handy to have locking cabinets on a bolt steel case chair, I believe. No, maybe not steel case. That might be a fireproof furniture. I don't know how these transparent signs are going to turn out. I guess now that I'm used to narrating, I'm just kind of pressing on with it. Let's step outside into the breeze for a second. Mm. Let's head it up to the bow. You know, let's take a break. Let's walk out towards, up towards the bow. pointed up like this. Where's it all the way out? Hot, hazy day. My foot is soaked through. It is uh, very warm. I'm going to say 88 degrees. I'm going to pull that number out of the air. Probably about 28 Celsius. And on deck here, there's a nice breeze, but oh, below deck, way too hot. Big anchor boxes here. And uh, pardon me, I'm going to pause you guys to take a couple stills.
That's interesting. Walking on this deck is I feel quite a bit more forgiving than uh, walking on concrete. For some reason, I had the impression that walking on a warship would be not sustainably different than uh, walking on concrete. back in where we came and resume walking inside from the same spot. Room pantry. Hey, Tony. Hello. Hello. Sorry for the white balance, guys. Got it on auto white balance, but I think it can only change so fast. All right, we're gonna head further to the bow. I think we can walk further to the bow. More, more areas we can't go. This is the bottle dressing station. Looks like we have officers' bunks. Oh, it's a stateroom. I don't know if this would be for officers or for. Oh, this is quite nice. Just a bathroom. And, uh, well, now we gotta figure out where else there is to go. I 
And a small arms locker there. Oh, yep, there's our tour route. Hard to handle my way up this little oh, no. Carrying you guys, you weigh about 13 pounds. Let's go back first, and then we'll go to the uh, bow. Ooh, some live equipment over here. I can feel the heat coming off it. It's all the lighting circuits. I'm guessing there's a high voltage ship to shore attached to this, so they don't have to run the steam turbines, would be my guess. View out the uh, captain's window. I believe that's what this is. Not realistic. Obviously all the communications radio here, you can see a lot of them are labeled as being classified or for unclassified communications. Some of them apparently have been stripped for parts. I see them marked as having their PCBs removed. And then high voltage either communications or radar equipment over here. And the odor in here is of marine lube oil. It smells like a machine shop in here. Hey, I see. Looks like the quartermaster's room is there, but the door's closed. I don't think that's part of the tour. And then I believe... Yeah, this is the uh, crypto radio room. Where they could process classified or encrypted secret clearance. Let's walk through here one more time uh, with it focused a little closer. Here, look at the communications room. Oh! Okay, so coming up into the secure communications room.
probably some of the uh, oldest encrypted personal computer stuff here. Not that old though. It's got a three and a half inch drive on it. Such systems here with lockout tags on them. Keep anybody from turning them on. And then that looks like a spot where they may have cut out some old equipment, possibly classified stuff. They didn't want uh, numbskulls like me filming, even today. Wait, look at these military amphenol connectors. And here's the classified material safe, the CMF. Sorry for the banding. It's just a result of the lighting. Donate some money to these guys and I can make you a better video when they switch over to uh, LEDs. like the camera's not going to overheat, which is good. It's still warning me that it's hot, which I kind of knew. Headed to the aft of the ship there. Well, I am a little turned around. We have another deck up to go. This is the captain's SR. If I had an extra hand, I can probably get my guy to book out and decode that, but <laughs> for now, let's just press on. I'll put it on screen if I have time to edit it in that way. I do want to thank everybody who subscribed. I uh, recently hit 111 subscribers. I did a special episode for that, although it wasn't super interesting. It's a walk through downtown. Another washroom. Captain's bath. Oh, he gets a decent sized uh, berth. Right, you can come on in. <laughs> Just finishing up in here. Okay. All right. Just trying to figure out what the different ones are. And we're on the uh, upper. A little too bright. Hang on. Oh, that breeze is nice. Okay, darken you guys back up for the fluorescent lighting here. Wish those are mortars.
Hedgehog. An anti-submarine weapon. And some of the old wooden floor covers. Which are probably a little less likely to trip over. This is the operations officer in this room. And then we're going to head up another deck. Here's the CO's sea cabin, the commanding officer. The top of the stairs here. It appears the CO gets his own heading indicator. I believe that's what that is. And then a speaking tube to the pilot house. I believe that's the vent there. There's a phone right next to it as well. And the thermometer on the wall is uh, not working where I tell you what temperature it is for sure. Okay. And there's the bridge. And the chart and map room. Very cool. We should get into that one. And again, it's amusing to see these cheap brass door handles. I think it's possible that that's what's always been there. It's just not what I would expect. Here's the CIC, the Command Information Center. Very dark in here. And very, very hot. And we'll wait for the bridge to clear out a little bit and then we'll head up to the bridge next. I do like the lighting in here. Make sure your eyes get adjusted. Just gotta be careful not to look at the bridge or you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out the bridge next. Okay. You can't yell cannon on a ship because people are gonna <laughs>
we both need a drink. <laughs> Get the camera on too at this point. Oh, that's a pretty comfy looking seat. I don't know if this would be a gun mount or an optic mount. Oh yeah, and this is a bridge wing, I would guess. There's a speed and RPM table over here on the wall. All the communication equipment up here. You know, this seems like a good selfie spot. Okay. Looks like we're allowed to walk around on deck up here. Coming to the end of this battery, but, you know, we've got another one. Pretty bone standard looking air compressor. mock machine gun. Looks like torpedo tubes. bridge wing here real quick. I didn't really film, finish filming on the bridge. Let's pop in and see the pilot house speaking tubes end up here. swing you guys around to see the chart table and what I guess is the watch is that's just my guess I don't know if that could be no maybe target the targeting targeting board let's read the bottom of it and see Plotting board, ship status. Okay. Let's head to the head back along the outside here. Let's see what else there is to see on deck. Eventually we'll head to go get our second battery. And then we gotta figure out oh we can go we go down on this right here. Okay. Alright, oh, let's go down these stairs. We can finish this before the battery dies. Oh, these are much easier to go down than the other stairs were. Crane here. Seal is passage throughway. Alright, well, let's head to the uh, aft of the ship a little further. Can we take a look at this torpedo? Yeah. Right after we take a look at this.
just a sec, guys, and I'll get out of your way. It's too shiny. Is this somewhere we've been before? No, it is not. Alright, we're gonna take a break real quick, guys. We're gonna go get the second battery. Give me just a second, I'll bring you guys back on as soon as I grab the other battery. So we'll resume our tour where we left off. There's a directional gyro. And part of the gun firing control system. that's burning on these or if these are actually uh, showing something. I believe they are cathode ray tube displays. This all could have been converted to uh, display rather than uh, having any kind of mechanisms left in it. Computerized servos and amplifiers. Probably all of the stuff you guys find in CNC machines and 3D printer and 3D printers nowadays. Except it's all a lot smaller. Radar and communication stuff up on the tower there. We're on to another deck gun. On the ports for the app refueling trunks. The, uh, the large gun on the deck below did have a uh, spot to look inside of it at. So I think we'll eventually head down there and uh, take a peek in through that hatch. I think this is up as far as we can go. Cool to get a look inside of the uh, more enclosed boat. I guess we can look up at these. Watch where I'm 
fucking gimbal goes. Hey. I think that's almost everything anyways. Move on to the bow one more time. I hit a switch between 720p 60 and 1080p 30. We'll see whether or not that was a mistake. I think I have some footage of both. But, uh, let's just film until this battery dies at least. 60 frames a second is usually, uh, harder to see. And doors, a little darker. I'd imagine a lot of this is still operating. The galley equipment's probably all electric. And they do do parties here. And actually, did I get a shot down the wishing well? I did not. Wonder where that leads. Love to see the engine compartment in this place. Escape scuttle. Okay, so this is the scuttle escape. Probably from the lower decks. Interesting. Okay, I wasn't filming that bit. So I'm not sure what we missed. Do this again. Of the gunnery's officer stateroom. And the ward bunk room, which does have a sign on the door please do not enter chained off, so we'll just film it from the uh, doorway here. And then just a dead-end exit. So we'll turn and we'll head out. And I am getting the eminently low battery warning, so if you enjoyed that tour of the USS Edison, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like it, I would suggest you come take a look at it, because uh, this is not one of the things I regularly make it to film. Yeah, I think we've gotten everything else through here. Oh no. Oh, we missed the ship's laundry.
Not a lot of space in here. It's a 50 pound capacity steam heated laundry machine. That's quite impressive. The crew washrooms appear to be storage right now. Let's we'll poke our head into this uh, gun before the battery dies. Well, there you go guys, the USS Edison can be found in Bay City, Michigan, Essexville, just over near the thumb of southern lower Michigan.